Today in our 2012 Chrysler 300, we're doing a test fit of the Thule Passage 2 trunk, trunk mount bike rack. That part number is TH910XT. Now we already have our bike secured down. First going to show you how we do that. So we've got two cradles with three straps, two on our frame and one as our anti-sway strap. So we'll start by removing our frame straps first and we'll get our anti-sway next. We'll pull our bike off, set it off to the side, and then I always suggest that you replace your straps so you don't lose or damage them. And now we'll take a few measurements here. So our first one's going to be overall what we're adding to our vehicle. It's going to be about 17 and a quarter inches. Now if you did want to park in a place with close quarters parking and not take up as much room, We'll come to the two pinch pieces here. We'll just pinch those together and rotate that down. Same thing on this side. And this is going to take up a lot less room. So we're only adding about nine inches to our vehicle now. Next, how our bike rack is actually secured to our vehicle. We have six straps all together, two over the top portion of our hatch or our trunk here. We've got two, one on each side, just above our light, and then two at the bottom underneath our trunk as well. We also have these nice foam pads at the bottom and top to prevent any abrasion from your bike rack onto your vehicle. It's a great secure rack, and it also comes with a fit dial here on the side. So this fit dial, you'll check your Thule instructions just to make sure that this is accurate, but we have it set to seven as per those instructions and that's just going to fit perfectly to our Chrysler 300. So that's going to be our completed look at the Thule Passage Trunk Mount 2 bike rack, part number TH910XT on our 2012 Chrysler 300. Now let's see how it does on our test course. Here on our test course we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway.